Hello, I'm Paddy. This is Amanda, the super taster. Uh, welcome to another chocolate tasting. Now, we've been watching adverts on TV for a new, I think it's new, lint product called Choco Wafer. And um, we were thinking, chocolate hazelnuts wafer, that sounds a lot like the Ferrero Rocher. Different shape. Um, but what's the difference? Uh, did they taste identical? Is this like a, a new product that's meant to knock the pyramid over? So we thought we could compare the two and see what we think. Should we open both yeah, let's the boxes have a look. first yeah. and see what we get inside? I've never much liked the packaging of the, of the Ferrero Rocher. There just seems to be a bit much of it. So we... Yeah. <laughs> we got this one which seemed to have the least packaging of, of all the ones we could find. You can get them in a, just in a bag with four Rocher inside, but... Um, we we'll have to go for a box because that's what we could find. Okay, and this one seems to have three different types of chocolate all individually wrapped. Ooh. So we've got milk and hazelnut, mm -hmm. dark chocolate and milk chocolate. So I'll just keep one of those out and put the other ones on. This also amusingly came with a security tag. A security tag? We, um, we did pay for it though, didn't we? We did pay for it, but it... <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure it's a bit security protected. Ooh. It's actually very, very desirable chocolate. What kind of price was that? This pack was £6.99 for ooh, 16, 16 of these. I'm not sure. I would say this was £5.99 for three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Mm. I think, Russia, probably, I don't know how, how much weight you get per These are 15 grams, wafer. so this is 138 grams in total. Oh, right. I don't know if this is going to tell us or not. I don't know what say in the bottom, isn't it? 200. 200 grams. Yeah, so you get quite a lot more. Mm -hmm. I do think the Ferro Roche is just more attractive. I mean, this it's all right, but it looks a bit... It doesn't look that special to me, whereas yeah. those, to me, are really special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you have a... There's something about those, whereas nice these... Branding. These are a bit like something you get maybe free with your coffee, kind of pre cost of living crisis. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you get a lovely smell straight out of these, don't you? Yeah, whereas this, there's... I those are sealed, well. aren't they? These are wraps. Yeah. So the smell So should we go out. first with the milk chocolate and hazelnut one of these, because I think that will be the closest comparison. Yeah. So to open, it's just a little tear. But mm -hmm. if we open the Ferrero as well, we can look at the plastic, mixture. isn't it? This Oil, is plastic. plastic, so not great for recycling, no. probably, is it? Um, and if we just have, we could just open this one just to see what they look like next to each other. Okay. So yeah. This one obviously it comes with its famous in a little little cup. So I think these are quite a nice experience to unwrap. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the gold wrapper and a little sticker on top. Mm -hmm. um, spend ages spattening the gold wrappers out <laughs> um, and there's our Ferrero so looking at them this one does feel lighter mm -hmm. but I don't know if that's it looks bigger as well doesn't looks it looks bigger um, a very similar colour I would mm -hmm. say the Ferrero is maybe a tiny bit darker yeah I think so and um, so kind of the density is nuts feel like the Ferrero has got thicker chocolate but it's quite hard to tell because this mm -hmm. has gone thin on the corners uh -huh. whereas this is round so it doesn't go thin the Ferrero rock shape smells very much of hazelnut and chocolate mm -hmm. this one just smells slightly odd it smells very sweet I don't think you'll not... smell that yes it reminds me of like the instant hot chocolate drinks a bit yeah that kind of smell whereas the Ferrero Rocher really has a hazelnut smell it's smell like that one Oh yeah, that's that's got the and the, the well, yeah. it, it probably is Nutella in there, isn't it? It's, it's that Nutella smell. Um, so I just chop this one in half, so that goes through quite a lot of caramel. Seems like a lot of not caramel wafer. So it's quite so dense, got but a lot of wafer. A lot in there. of wafer in there. So you've got one, two, three, four layers of wafer, mm -hmm. and quite thin cream between, and chocolate on the outside. Mm -hmm. Is that like a gooey gooey cream in there? No, it's very solid. But, solid but then it is very cold in here. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then this one, you've got a layer of chocolate and nuts, and then a single layer of wafer, and then the mm -hmm. Nutella spread. And that's nice and thick, isn't it? And, and that's a, really thick. a genuine, genuine nut in the middle, isn't it? Oh, no, that's, is that yeah, a nut? Yeah, it's a nut, yeah. Yeah, it seems quite soft, but yeah, that yeah. is a nut. Yeah. 
so should we just try the mm. this one first so okay. this one that seems quite dry to eat to mm. me it reminds me a bit if I was eating that with my eyes shut, I'd think that could be one of those, what they call the the bars they make in the north. They make sort of tannocks. Tannocks, sort of ten million made every day or whatever the figure is. Yeah, so it's very sweet. That. If you think of a tannocks bar a bit, and it's gonna yeah, very sweet and quite dry. And quite dry. I'm just gonna try the Ferrero. I'm just gonna try the chocolate. So the Ferrero's got lovely kind of quite creamy chocolate on it. This one, I would say the chocolate is quite nice. It is sweeter though. Let's try for that part. Definitely a sweeter chocolate on the mm. lint wafer. So I feel like I'm getting more of a sugar hit from the Ferrero Rocher. Do you? Yeah, I think with the with the kind of it's, it's sort of richer it seems somehow and i'm getting that feeling from it mm -hmm. and yes it's not not got that dryness yeah the other one is quite dry if very rush you definitely get a hit from it's yeah. like a little drug ball, or something. <laughs> drug ball. yeah <laughs> not that we take drugs but, we don't. <laughs> but it's i could imagine like mm. that's what take it yeah So even though we're, we're big fans of, of the lint, the classic lint, what they call the, the the kind of balls with the with the soft centre, the Lindors, the, the Lindors, yeah, we we love those, but I'm not really so impressed with these. Um, no, I mean the, ball, the choco wafers. Should we try the ones? So we've got two more. We've got a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. Okay, yeah, we may as well try those. The and milk... of course, um, Ferrero do their Raffaello and. Yeah. Something else they do a kind of dark chocolate and a white chocolate equivalent of the Ferrero Rocher, don't they? It's not. Yeah. Is it identical? It's, I it's don't not know. the same thing exactly, is it? No, it's not. I don't know. We didn't get those ones. We'll have to watch our review back. We <laughs> yeah. do review of yeah. them to remember. So this one again's got the four layers, no so hazelnuts. That one. Just plain the white, I mean, just milk, milk, milk chocolate on the outside. Um, if I get rid of the chocolate. Mm. That does taste a lot different. This this is a dark chocolate one, did you say? Or this is the the milk chocolate the one. Milk chocolate. That reminds me of some kind of wafer bar. Was it a taxi bar or something? Mm. It does taste a bit like a kind of chocolate sort of one of the less less luxurious chocolate bars, kind of snack bar. Mm. Doesn't have that same dryness that the the other one had. The hazelnut one. Uh, hazelnut one. Yeah, so but yeah, I guess with that the hazelnuts, it's just like a, a better a texture, chocolate wafer it, bar. It's just chocolate wafer. Mm. And then the dark one is obviously the same thing. It's dark. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like particularly much to look at. Um, no. But to smell the other one. It smells quite nice, this one, actually. Oh, well, yeah, it does. I mean, you can kind of smell it's a dark darker chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ooh, is, that, is that thicker to cut, would you say? Um, I think so, but I might have just not stabbed the knife in well enough. <laughs> mm. And again, it's got the layers. Yeah. Um, the chocolate's quite thin on these. It's not very thick chocolate. Mm. Compared to the Ferrero, it's quite, yeah, it's not thick. Mm. I mean, I, I assume it's the same wafer in, in, each, mm. in each one, but... Each of them does feel very different. That felt crunchier somehow than the than the milk chocolate one. Mm. It does to me kind of taste a bit of, of cheap dark chocolate. Yeah. I don't know if I'm enough of a connoisseur to, to spot that, but <clears throat> yeah, just see what the cocoa solids are like. Mm. It is quite nice. I'll give it that. It doesn't say what the cocoa solids are. A bit like a kind of Bourneville style kind of. Yeah. If can you still get Bourneville, the, the red coloured Yeah, you can still bars? get Bourneville. Yeah, so I'd say Yeah, it's just it's got that sort of not 
not yeah it's, it's nice enough but i would say these these to me feel like the sort of chocolate bars you'd have in a packed lunch going to school yeah, or something exactly. but they've been repackaged as something luxury yeah and, um, and made smaller <laughs> and made smaller <laughs> yeah rather than and i think if that was the packaging and if they were like that you'd kind of think oh that's actually a really nice bar to have mm. But I think as something that's going basically as a luxury or gift and security tag product, um, I wouldn't say they've got any competition at all for the Ferrero Rocher. Yeah. Imagine a Ferrero Rocher bar. That maybe it might be a bit much. We've had that. Oh, in fact, they, they do a chocolate bar without the without the Nutella and the, yeah. and the wafer. And we've had the ice yeah. cream. Oh, 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 I don't actually remember having the ice cream. We did. It was like did Ferrero we? Rocher, but in an ice cream. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> as, as their advertising slogan puts it yeah and they, they call it Ferrero Rocher ice cream yeah and this yeah. doesn't the lint one doesn't say how much chocolate you're getting how much cocoa you're getting um it feels like it's probably quite a cheap product because I think it's so light you kind of think mm -hmm. a lot of that's got to be wafer yeah which is going to be a very cheap thing to fill um and they've gone for the cheap packaging really as well, haven't they? And that's I think they call yeah. that flu flu wrapping, don't they? Yeah, that, that so cheap it's... thing. So it, it's not going to look, look luxurious. No. In your kind of Christmas box or whatever. I'm sure it's meant to be a Christmas thing. Yeah, I just think the sort of thing that you go to an Airbnb and there'd like be a box of them, like a few of them in a yeah, plate like that. Yeah, it, it it kind of feels like it kind of feels like this should be something that comes free with something yeah. else. Yeah, and the, the, the master chocolatier looks a bit bemused, doesn't it? it, it yeah. I think they've photoshopped the, the wafer onto his spoon where he's meant to be kind yeah. of tempering chocolate for some high quality thing, but they've just shoved that on his spoon. Yeah. And he's like, are we Definitely. really selling this stuff? Oh, it does say actually on the back oh, the, what the solids. percentage is. Mm -hmm. So the milk one is, wafer's only 30% covered with milk chocolate, 51%, really? Filling thirty six percent. I'm not massively convinced on those figures. Mm, dark chocolates. Uh, but it doesn't say it doesn't what say the, the percentage. Uh, yeah, the cocoa percentage is. No. Um, so they're kind of saying it's a lot of chocolate, like fifty percent chocolate. But I just. I kind of feel like we should send one to more or less or something and get. <laughs> examine it because i feel like that isn't 50 percent chocolate mm -hmm. but maybe there's some mathematical thing about if you put a small square thing mm -hmm. in chocolate it'll end up 50 i don't know it to me it, yeah. it just feels like it's it's not that much chocolate it's, a, I mean, it's only 15 grams in total so what how much chocolate are you getting like half of 15 so you're yeah, getting about so eight, seven 18 grams of oh, chocolate yeah, seven or eight grams of chocolate yeah, so it's not a lot mm -hmm. of chocolate at all. I don't know if the... Does the Ferrero give me the wrapping? Ooh, does that say that? Um... So weirdly, the Ferrero says that this is 30% chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, and 28.5% um, hazelnuts. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't actually say how much of the hazelnut paste, sort of chocolate mm -hmm. paste, does is in there. Tell you how many cocoa solids are in the no in the it chocolate. doesn't no, no. <laughs> <Mind that looks. laughs> um, but yeah these are definitely the winner for us yeah <laughs> very yeah. long way i think they're actually cheaper or a similar price point mm -hmm. um i think these ones just get a kit kat or something yeah it's fair, it's, or fair trade it's, equivalent it's a lot just like a kit kat isn't it save did your money and get a kit kat the or... kit kat do a nut kit kat i don't, I don't think, think so. they do or a, Breakaway or what you know one of oh, yeah, those yeah, yeah. chocolate yeah. wafer bars that you can buy like mm. ten for a pound yeah. or something. <laughs> cut, cut it up into bits and, and wrap them in, in nice yeah. silver foil or something. <laughs> yeah, the only use I can really think of these is having in your pocket if you wanted mm. a quick kind of sugar. Yeah, and they'd probably melt, wouldn't they? <laughs> they probably melt. I mean, yeah, I guess mm. we'll probably get through them, but uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, they're sort of. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're a bit of a miss. These ones. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, thanks for watching, and I hope that's made up your mind about the great Rocher versus Choco wafer debate. Um, yeah, and catch us next time, where we'll probably be somewhere else again, um, eating chocolates. Yep. <laughs> Bye then.